Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to explain the synthesis, reactions and medicinal uses of thiophene. Coming to the structure of thiophene, it is the 5-numbered heterocyclic ring system consisting of sulfur as the heteroatom. And this structure consisting of sulfur is the only heteroatom. So according to the nomenclature system, the numbering system which is started from the heteroatom, so that sulfur it gets the first position. And this thiophene is considered as a aromatic heterocyclic ring system. Because this thiophene, it possesses a planar conjugated ring structure and consisting of 6 delocalized pi electrons. And those six delocalized pi electrons which are arised from the two double bonds which are present in the ring as well as one unshared lone pair of electrons which are present on the sulfur. So totally as six delocalized pi electrons. Hence it follows the Huckel's rule. So it is considered as aromatic heterocyclic ring system. Synthesis are preparation methods of thiophene. So preparation from sodium succinate. Sodium succinate which on heating with phosphorus trifluoride it gives thiophene. Sodium succinate which on treatment with phosphorus trifluoride it gives thiophene. Next preparation method that is preparation from uh, N-butane. So 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon chain N-butane. N-butane which on treatment with uh, sulfur powder at high temperatures. So N-butane which on treatment with sulfur powder at high temperatures uh, it gives uh, thiophene by releasing of hydrogen sulfide. Next method of preparation that is uh, Palknar synthesis. Palknar synthesis. So according to the Palknar synthesis, 1,4-dicarbonyl uh, compounds which are in reaction with phosphorus pentasulfide in presence of sulfuric acid, it gives uh, thiophene derivatives. So here you can see the 1,4 dicarbonyl compound. So this structure consisting of two carbonyl groups and both the carbonyl groups are first and fourth position to each other. Hence it is considered as 1,4 dicarbonyl compound which are in reaction with phosphorus pentasulfide. So in the thiophene ring it requires sulfur as the heteroatom. Hence it is treated with phosphorus pentasulfide. If we are using phosphorus pentoxide, it gives furan derivative. But here we are going to synthesize thiophene consisting of sulfur as the heteroatom. Hence, uh, we are using phosphorus pentasulfide. So, it gives uh, thiophene derivative as the product. And next method of preparation of thiophene that is Simmons Smith reaction or Simmons Smith synthesis. So according to this Simmons Smith synthesis uh, alpha oxoketine dithioacetals. So this is ketene double bond alpha position having oxo. So alpha oxoketine dithioacetals which on treatment with uh, diidomethane in presence of uh, zinc and copper, it gives uh, respective thiophene derivatives. That is Simon Smith synthesis of thiophene derivatives. Coming to the reactions of thiophene, in which first reduction reactions, so thiophene it on Reduction with hydrogen 
in presence of catalyst that is palladium if the catalyst that is palladium both the double bonds are reduced and it gives uh, tetrahydrothiophene and reduction in presence of nickel as the catalyst if the palladium catalyst which is replaced with nickel the ring is going to be break down and uh, it produce the n butane and nickel sulfide so reduction with hydrogen in presence of nickel it gives uh, n butane and nickel sulfide and next uh, oxidation oxidation reaction of uh, thiophene so in generally the thiophene does not undergo oxidation reaction but uh, it's a uh, reduced derivative that is uh, tetrahydrothiophene that is a uh, tetrahydrothiophene tetrahydrothiophene undergoes oxidation and it gives respective sulfone derivative respective sulfone derivative next reaction with uh, organolithium compounds so thiophene it on reaction with uh, n butyl lithium it gives uh, respect to two ty two thiophenyl lithium that means the lithium which is going to be attached at the second position of the thiophene thiophene two lithium or two thiophenyl lithium further which on treatment with carbon dioxide followed by the acidic hydrolysis the lithium which is replaced by the carboxylic acid finally it gives thiophene to carboxylic acid so this is the reaction with organolithium compounds when it on reaction with organolithium compounds the lithium which is going to be introduced at the second position then followed by the treatment with carbon dioxide and acidic hydrolysis it gives respective thiophene to carboxylic acid derivatives coming to the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions of thiophene so thiophene it on electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions it gives two substituted derivatives it gives two substituted derivatives that means the substitution that is going to be takes place at second position so thiophene which on nitration here the mild nitration mixer that is nitric acid and acetic anhydride so in generally the nitration mixer is nothing but nitric acid and sulfuric acid but in case of furan and thiophene nitration reactions the mild nitration mixer that is used that is nothing but nitric acid and acetic anhydride it gives respective two nitro thiophene derivative similarly sulfonation it gives thiophene to sulfonic acid similarly halogenation that is bromine in presence of acetic acid it gives respective two bromo derivative two bromo thiophene similarly freyler crafts alkylation reaction so the alkyl group that is going to be introduced at second position as the substituent so treatment with ethyl chloride in presence of tin chloride it gives two ethyl thiophene similarly freyler crafts acylation acetic anhydride in presence of tin chloride the acyl group that is introduced at the second position as the substituent so two acetyl thiophene so like that the electrophilic aromatic substitution of thiophene it gives respect to two substituted derivatives and here one of the important thing that is related to the halogenation reaction so halogenation with bromine in presence of acetic acid it gives two bromo derivative but the halogenation reaction with chlorine and iodine it gives the mixer of derivatives here you can observe the halogenation reaction of thiophene with chlorine and iodine so thiophene 
which on halogenation with chlorine at 50 degrees centigrade it gives a mixture of halogenated derivatives one is 2 chloro thiophene and next one is 2 5 dichloro thiophene and this 2 chloro thiophene which is going to be produced as major product and 2 5 dichloro thiophene which is produced as a minor product similarly treatment with iodine in presence of mercury oxide here also you are going to get the mixture of products that is 2 iodo thiophene and 2 5 di iodo thiophene here also the 2 iodo thiophene is the major product so like that in case of chlorination and iodination you are going to get the mixture of products but in which the 2 chloro or 2 iodo derivatives are major products then coming to the medicinal uses of thiophene containing drugs cephalothin which is the cephalosporin drug belongs to the beta lactam antibiotic compound so here you can observe the thiophene moiety in the structure of cephalothin and similarly another drug which is having the thiophene moiety that is suprofen which is the non steroidal anti inflammatory drug so you are have we are having some nsids drugs that is ibuprofen like that so the same pronunciation which is the suprofen so the suprofen which is also having thiophene moiety in its structure some other drugs which are having thiophene moiety in its structure that is methapyrrolein so methapyrrolein it has strong sedative effects and this methapyrrolein which is also having thiophene moiety in its structure similarly tiagabine so this is the structure of tiagabine consisting of thiophene moiety in its structure so this tiagabine which is used as anti epileptic drug that means it acts as anti convulsant anti convulsant and coming to the individual uses of all those drugs which are having thiophene moiety in its structure cephalothin which is the beta lactam antibiotic compound it is the semi synthetic antibacterial agent structurally related to the penicillins and it is effective against the penicillinase producing staphylococci as well as other gram positive and gram negative organisms that means it is active against penicillinase producing staphylococci as well as gram positive and gram negative organisms then next drug that is suprofen which is the non steroidal anti inflammatory drug which is used to reduce the pains and inflammation conditions especially in the eyes and uh, suprofen which is ophthalmically used to prevent the pupil constriction during eye surgery next methapyrrolein it has strong sedative effects and to the extent uh, primarily this methapyrrolein nowadays uh, which is used as uh, a medication in the treatment of insomnia rather than uh, its uh, antihistaminic action next drug that is uh, tiagabine which is anti epileptic drug it is also called as anti convulsant that means used for the treatment of uh, seizures or convulsions and especially this tiagabine which is used for the treatment of uh, partial seizures in combination with some other drugs in adults and in children who are at least 12 years old these are the medicinal uses of thiophene nucleus containing drugs this is about uh, synthesis various preparation methods 
reactions and medicinal uses of thiophene so for more heterocyclic compounds reactions synthesis and medicinal uses subscribe my channel and the topics are mainly related to the second b form c second semester pharmaceutical organic chemistry 3 subject thank you thank you all